Well, Richie McCaw, you come straight off the pitch. That must be a terrible blow for you. What's your immediate reaction? Oh, mate, I'm not sure. Uh, it was a hell of a test match. Um, yeah, I lost words, really. Uh, the French, you know, as we always knew they could in the second half, uh, up the tempo a wee bit. We, we sort of perhaps lost a wee bit of composure. Thought we got it back there, but um, he just can't afford to do that in a quarter final. They just seem to have that ability to come back at you, don't they? It's, I mean, it's not the first time they've done it in such a big match. <laughs> no, tell me about it. Um, yeah, I can't explain it, mate. Uh, you know, we we believed we had, had the goods at half time. We talked about wanting to keep the tempo up and play our game. Pips got lulled into playing a bit of ping pong in the first half. Um, yeah, mate, oh, just one of those days that uh, you want to forget. I know it's very difficult for you, but I mean, how big a blow is this for New Zealand rugby? I mean, you've been such overwhelming favourites for this tournament for so long. Yeah, I guess we have, um, but you know, we knew that. Um, we, we tried to prepare as such. You know, we've uh, been in big matches before, and you know, these guys play a lot of rugby, but um, you know, big matches is where you got to uh, play. Everyone's got to stand up, and perhaps as a team today, we 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 were a second best team. Richie, thanks for coming to talk to us. Cheers, Richie.